Ever had issues with establishing boundaries with your parents? Well, Steph Curry had to tackle the same issue as a kid, when his parents would vet every girl he ever dated. In an interview on In-Depth with Graham Bessinger, Steph Curry opened up about his childhood upbringing and education. From a young age, his family ties were very strong. For example, where he attended elementary school with his brother Seth, their aunt was their teacher, their mother Sonia was the headmaster, and their grandmother was the school cook. Talk about a family affair. Steph said it wasn't easy staying out of trouble and it ain't hard to imagine why. Described as old school by Curry himself, his folks Dell and Sonia were, how do I put this, involved, invested, just flat out nosy. Let's just say they had high standards for the girls Steph would be able to date. Steph recalled his awkward first dates as a young boy, and awkward is putting it lightly. Long story short, every time Steph was into a girl he wanted to date, his folks insisted on them coming over to meet the family. And not just the girl, but the girl's parents too. Steph had to make sure he did his homework on the girl, learning about her, her backstory, and that's before he would ask her out. Steph had a whole pitch down to a T on how he'd ask too. Before we go to the movies, I need your parents to come over to the house and just sit down with my parents. Just have a talk. We're a very welcoming and warm family. They just want to get to know you. That's all. Steph Curry. Most folks look at meeting the parents as a big step in the relationship. But in the Curry household, they don't beat around the bush. First dates are already difficult enough, but asking her parents to meet too? Count me out on that one. The Currys were a very close-knit, traditional family. And because of that, they were very protective of their children and even more selective of who they were allowed to see. But maybe that's why Steph and Aisha worked out so well, because the two of them actually met long before their romance blossomed. First off, the two first met each other in North Carolina as kids, where both of their families attended the same church. It was those early years as young teenagers where they grew to be friends, but there wasn't any dating or anything that happened at the time. According to Aisha, Steph was just the cute boy at church, and a lot of girls were infatuated with him. What a lady killer. Steph is a man of faith to this very day based on his upbringing, so it's not hard to imagine his folks were beyond excited once he started seeing Aisha. However, if it weren't for happenstance and a strange twist of fate, the two may never have ended up tying the knot. It wasn't until the two ran into each other in Los Angeles that they reconnected, where Aisha was pursuing a career in acting. Steph was attending the ESPYs, which Aisha admittedly didn't know about. In her defense, she had a no-athletes dating policy, so can't hold it against her. Curry was still far away from the NBA at the time and was still playing college ball at Davidson. After a date on Hollywood Boulevard in their late teens, the two started officially dating and the rest is history. Maybe it was their strict standards of who he was allowed to date, but Steph's parents made sure their kids were well taken care of. With Aisha and Steph ending up together and having a family, it's safe to say that their principles may have paid off in the end, even if they may have been embarrassing for young Steph. Steph Curry's story is a good reminder for folks dealing with their parents. If you ever think your parents were ever too hard on you or too protective, remember this. If Steph can make it through, so can you. Did anything from Steph's childhood surprise you? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't miss any of our fresh content.